Hey everybody, welcome to another stream from GGRC. I'm RC, and today we're going to be playing through Bon Bon. Now this is supposed to be some kind of a strange, unique type of horror game here. Um, I actually have the description pulled up here. If you haven't heard of this game, it's a short first-person domestic horror narrative in which you navigate childhood events beyond your capacity to understand. Ooh. Bon Bon is about experiencing the objects and events around you as your parents increasingly demonstrate their absence you spend time with Bon Bon, a large, overbearing, and ambiguous visitor. Does sound pretty creepy. Uh, we're actually going to play through the whole thing right here, right now, because it's pretty short. It's only uh, 20 to 40 minutes, uh, depending on how you play, as, as the uh, description sh says here. You, but you may not have heard of this. It's close to Halloween. I figured, hey, you know what? It's going to be quick. Why don't we jump into it? Why don't we check it out here? And, uh, you know, see, uh, see what this is all about, because it sounds pretty unique and pretty different. So... I have no idea who or what Bon Bon is supposed to be, but I guess we'll find out momentarily here. I did notice that in the options there were a few interesting things uh, within the game. A head bob scale um, says here that if you experience motion sickness uh, easily, you can probably turn that down. I usually turn that down or off in game, so I'm going to leave it at 100 for right now just so we can see what it's like. But we got subtitles, we got objectives and hints. I don't know how hard this game is supposed to be. Those are on by default. I did not turn those on. But controls seem pretty self-explanatory here. You're going to be playing as a child. You're going to toddle around, look around. You can pick up toys, drop or throw the toys. You can even rotate them to look at them. You can even talk to the toys. Um, but you know what? Let's jump right into this supposedly horrific game. So I mean, you you apparently are really small here. Okay, seems like we're standing up. I don't know. I was about to say if that was our our normal <laughs> size right there, that would be really strange. Use the mouse or thumbstick to look around. Okay, we're looking around. I have very very limited view capacity. Moving around right there, it was only kind of like this much. You don't have the full thing. Let's play with wobbly dog. We can give wobbly dog a big push. We can let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so you actually have to hold R while you rotate the toy around. Hello, Wobbly Dog. <laughs> that's pretty wild. Wasn't expecting that. Alright. Boom! We gave him a push. And there he goes. So now we can toddle around, it looks like. Alright, now I have full full view of everything. The head bob thing was really going to bother me because I was like, man, if we're really like doing this kind of thing, like a real little kid, it's going to be weird. Don't leave your new balls outside. You'll lose them. Okay. So we got to find all four balls and put them inside of the house for mummy. Oh, we went through the caterpillar thing. That was fun. Well, so far, his parents don't seem super absent. His mom was right there telling him to come in. All right, play with Mr. Lemon. Hello, Mr. Lemon. One ball. Count them. One ball. What do we got here? Bouncy hopper. <laughs> okay, when you say hello to them... They, uh, you pretty much constantly get this screen every single time, so... I'll just throw him away over there. Whoa, there is some kind of creepy big rat thing over there. Who is that? Is that Bon Bon? Say hello to Mrs. Purple. Weird. Whoa! I turned around and fell... Apparently, the rat did not do that, but I guess the assumption was that the rat would have grabbed me or something. Where did the purple ball go? Oh, went over here for some reason. There's some kind of shovel right there. Now I keep turning around thinking that that rat is going to come after me. What is happening? I can't seem to control... 
Can't seem to control myself here very well. It's almost as if Mrs. Purple has some sort of strange power. Alright, there are apparently two more balls somewhere. Hello, Big Mouth. Oh, we can play with the pinwheel. There we go, there's one of the balls there. Can I just throw it over this instead of going up to the door? So we'll find out here, won't we? Whoa! Definitely does not have the arm that we expected. Roll in. There we go. Talent. Even as a toddler. Alright, the other one's got to be in the sandbox, I bet. Oh. I'm assuming that's Bon Bon. Does Bon Bon have the last ball? He does. Thanks, Bon Bon. Alright, so that is Bon Bon. <laughs> Just so you know. I got an achievement for being fearless, uh, fearless apparently. Apparently, uh, Bon Bon should be scaring me a lot more than I am letting him. That ball rolled way over here. Some weird ball physics going on with these balls. Just rolling all over the backyard. Thanks, Bonbon. Bon. You're not so bad, right? I mean, he got us our fourth ball. He can't be that scary or bad. Alright, I guess now it's time to see. Oh, as we head inside, see what happens next with Bonbon. Bon. Oh, we got cartoons going. There we go. Oh man, this must be some like crazy public domain cartoon playing on the TV. The one thing I will say, um, for a smaller game that was created here, uh, it definitely looks good. Loving loving the look of the uh, the room and everything here. Love all the little toys and stuff like that. I don't know if these were actually made by the developer or if these were re reused, you know, as like free assets or something like that in the uh, Unreal Engine, but either way. Looks pretty good. Love the cartoon, by the way. Who's this little guy? It's Flutterhog. Hello, Flutterhog. Ugh, someone is a gross smoker here. Find all four rubber rings and put them in the box for mummy. So we're always doing something for mummy here. So those are balls that we brought in just now. So that's good. There's a little bit of continuity. I was expecting to see Bonbon bon here at the window, but we don't have him at all. Hello, yellow face. It is really dark over there. Alright, this is Ringman. Alright, so we gotta put the rings on Ringman? Is that what we're doing here? There we go. Purple ring. Very happy purple ring, by the way. Ooh, that didn't work out. One more time. Nope. Let's try this again. Ugh. <laughs> this is not really working, is it? I cannot get this damn ring on here. Okay, it's kind of on there. Does it give me my objective again? It said to put stuff away. Oh, I guess we put him in the box. The cardboard box? That's interesting. He doesn't actually have like a toy chest or something we can use. So controlling the little toddler is a bit weird at times. 
There we go. That's where it's supposed to go. It's a bit weird at times because if you push forward for a long time while holding an object, he just stumbles down every single time. Look at, look at Pee Wee here. Pee Wee the robot. There you go. That's where you belong, Pee Wee. Here's one of the rings. We got one more to find. Here it is. Bonbon bon at the window? As we put this last one in? What do you guys think? Find all the blocks and do the same thing. So I did throw this one a bit earlier. I always wish there was some sort of a, like, uh, like a gall thing where you build up your strength to throw it just a little bit further, you know? Alright, that's two. Oh, look, we got a... Whoa, what is this? Oh, <laughs> there's a reference to uh, Critters and Nightmare from the makers of Nightmare on Elm Street below it. That's really funny. Critters, great movie, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Love that, that series of movies. For sale, ruby-eyed, dumbo-eared, champagne Siamese rat. Eight months old. So they're selling Bon Bon. So this kid has a lot of toys. Which might be, you know, explain why the, the, the whole premise at the beginning is talking about why the, the parents aren't around and stuff. Lots of toys. Grab this block. Alright, we got one more to find after this block. One more to find. Hello, tiny man. Get in the box. We got a truck. There's our dog, our wobbly dog. Where's our last block? Ugh, cigarette butts. Really gross. And we got Georgie. I like this. I like a, a kid who likes robots and stuff. Who doesn't like robots? Woo! Oh, there he goes. Oh, <laughs> he's like a Roomba. He's got to reappropriate himself and go around the other part of the room. Because he just <laughs> runs into things around the house. Where is this final block at? It's really dark and I can't see a damn thing over here. I got the two that were there. There was one on the chair. Where's the last one? Oh. Right in front of me. I'm hearing some str- ah, There he is. Okay. Hi, Bon Bon. <laughs> I was like, I'm hearing some strange sounds. I look over. There he is. We gotta find three more tiny people. Hello, Bon Bon. We're buddies, right? You're not you're not gonna eat me or murder me, I hope. Okay, we got the tiny lady. You know, really this mom is getting, you know, more than she bargained for because she, the toys that she's asked me to pick up, I'm picking up even more than that. I've thrown up plenty more toys in there than they asked. Alright, there's two more little people. Here, Bon Bon, you play with that. Bon Bon actually had one of the tiny people right there. See, look how helpful he is. Why would we get rid of him? Alright, there's one more to find. Tell me about it. It's Georgie the robot. I am, lady. Give me a second. Oh, I couldn't find my last tiny person. Oh well, what can you do? Your eyes. Happy birthday, love. Blow them out. One, two, two three. three. You don't actually get to see it, though. Try again.
Cigarette lighter. Ow. Lighten up Wait, again. It's kind of interesting that we're not seeing any of this play out at the moment. Would really like to see, you know, what's actually happening here. <laughs> oh, furniture's moving. Oh, hi, Bonbon. Bon. Would you like some cake? Do you want some cake? Oh, come on, rats love cake. Here, look, I'll, I'll show it off for you here, look. Mmm, cake. Oh, look, see? He put his hand out. He wants it. Oh, I gave him some cake. I knew he wanted some. Oh, he's drooling now. You want some more? Okay. Let's give you some more cake. Here. We'll rotate it a bit. We'll get your... There we go. Yeah, we'll get your glands going. Salivate a bit. He just can't take it anymore. He needs the cake. Oh man, look at that drool. Okay, okay. Don't don't get crazy. I'll get you your cake. There you go. Ooh. Didn't quite get to you, did it? There you go. Man, he is getting antsy. I haven't even had a piece yet, Bonbon. Bon. Come on now. Oh. Okay, alright, alright. We'll give you some more. I can't quite look away from him. I can't give him more cake. Here we go. There you go. No, Bonbon, bon, no. I'm not sure why I'm saying no, Bonbon. Bon. Okay. Here's some more cake. Honestly, I don't care if he eats the whole cake. I would rather him eat the whole cake, be happy, and not destroy me. And tell him no. He just doesn't have to he doesn't have to be so demanding about it. That's that's the only thing, isn't it? I mean Alright, I think that's it. I don't know if I can pick up anymore. Oh bomb you got a little something going on there, Bomb Bomb. I would, but I can't look away. There we go. Uh you want Mr. Chatterbox? Uh, I guess I want him to go away, but I, I can't pick up any cake. Oh, he is getting impatient. Um. Oh boy. Okay. He's not being polite anymore. <laughs> He's just gonna go for the cake. Yeah. But it wasn't me, mummy. It was Bon Bon. All right, this is where things are gonna get really weird. Once upon a time, there was an old miller who had two children who were twins. The boy twin was named Hans, and he was very greedy. Where is he? The girl twin was named Hilda. Is he reading to me from the hallway? Hans and Hilda had no mother, because she died whilst giving birth to their third sibling, named Engel. Oh no, he's actually recorded on the tape here. That's weird. He's never there, so he has to record his story on a tape for a child to listen to? Wow. Weird. Let us try to escape and live with the gypsies, said Hans, and Hilda agreed. Hilda agreed. While they were looking for a way out, a big brown rat came out from behind the log pile. I will help you to escape and show you the way to the gypsies camp, said the big brown rat, if you bring me all of your father's grain. So Hans and Hilda waited until their father let them out, and the next day, when the miller went to market and left the children locked up inside the mill, they carried all the grain down to the cellar. The big brown rat <laughs> brought up the grain until there was none left, and then went to sleep behind the log pile. When the miller came home and found out, he declared that he was ruined and that they were all starving. <laughs> and he locked the children in the cellar and wept with fear as he turned the key. <laughs> the big brown rat was waiting. 
Uh, am I growing as I say hello, Daddy? I'm trying to figure out what's happening here. I can kind of look around. Every time I say hello, Daddy, I feel like I pivot around a lot. I'm definitely bigger than a toddler now. Is this like way further in the future at this point? So Hans and Hilda waited until their father let them out. When the miller was out bartering from the grain, they made a trail of breadcrumbs all around the mill and into the cellar to show the wedding guests where to go. They took the most important pages out of the hymnal so that the priest would have the right words to say. Then they stole the miller's best Sunday jacket and took in the hmm. shoulders so that it would fit Hans, and they stole their mother's wedding dress and took up the hem so that it would fit Hilda. Then she put it on, and she looked lovely, but when the miller returned from market and saw them dressed up in wedding clothes, he wept with shame as he beat them and threw them both into the cellar once more. The wedding guests were already assembled. There were mice and bulls. It's a good children's story. The choir was made up of crows who were already singing. The registrar was a big fat spider with spectacles on, and the priest was a long grey weasel who was busy rehearsing the right words from the hymnal. Hans walked Hilda down the aisle, and the big brown rat was waiting. The weasel said, Do you accept this offered paw in binding an inescapable holy matrimony, Hilda girl child? Hilda looked at Hans, who nodded as if to remind her that he would rescue her. I do, said Hilda. The weasel said, Do you take this innocent young hand for your very own angle monstrous rat baby? I do, said the big brown rat, before anyone could interrupt. Then I'll pronounce your man and wife, squeaked the weasel as quick as he could, and in a flash all of the wedding party scattered and Hans and Hilda were left alone with the big brown rat. I don't understand, said Hans. The big brown rat pushed Hans through a secret tunnel that led down to the riverbank, and Hans escaped and ran off and became a beggar boy. Of course, he never found his brother Engel, and never rescued Hilda. The old miller finally hung himself, but nobody minded, and Hilda died whilst giving birth to a beautiful litter of thirteen baby rats, who grew fat in the miller's grain, and lived happily ever after. Wow. I don't know that anybody lived happily ever after in that story, to be quite fair. But that was an interesting scene. Just like a really long bedtime story without much going on. Okay, so now I am actually walking around. Some of my toys are back in my room here, it would seem. We got a, a glow worm. Which I suppose over in uh, the UK, maybe they're referred to as the light bug. We call them glow worms over here. Things are moving really slow. I feel like we're in uh, playing Quake, some cigarette vertigo or something like that. Woo! Things, yeah, things are moving really slow. <laughs> I don't know if they're supposed to be. Am I supposed to be like in a, in a dreamlike state or something like that? Floating glowworm! Oh, they're all having some sort of meeting over here. Well, where are you going, glowworm? I guess we'll just throw you over there as you bounce. Look at him dance! Oh no, someone hurt Wobbly Dog. Whoa, door open. But I was saying hello to Wobbly Dog. Oh, there we go. What else are you guys doing? Flutterhog, Kangafant, Rhino Dial, Koala Llama. All right, I guess we'll go out. Oh no, I guess we won't. Oh man, things are getting crazy in here now. Get little people all over the place. Kicking people all around here. This has got to be some kind of strange nightmare or something, right? This is really weird. I'm honestly not completely sure what I should be doing or what's happening here. Is this a way to go? No, there's just a, a pillar there in the middle for no reason. There's more people to kick over. Kick him over. Man, it is dark. I can't see anything. Floor Crete. 
Oh, here we go. Okay, another door appeared over here. There's Wobbly Dog. He's got his legs back. He's trying to escape. Get him, Wobbly Dog. Go. Sick him. See, so yeah, everything right now is kind of running at, like, half speed. Maybe even slower. And I don't know if that is on purpose or not. But it is definitely strange. Is this where we should be, Wobbly Dog? Turn around to Bon Bon? Yep. I knew he'd be there. Bon Bon, if you're gonna eat me, just do it. Get it over with. Well, that's not good. Can I get out of bed? Oh! The jump scare legit got me for a moment there. Okay, yeah, I gotta try to escape, I guess. He's eating my covers. Oh, I can't get away. Go! Nope, Bon Bon says, I don't think so. Uh, under the bed? Okay. It's weird, the, the prompt for the buttons, they give you the, the WASD keys and say hide and run away, but I'm, I'm not quite sure that I'm hitting the correct keys to activate what's happening here. Do I just keep pushing forward? Do I have to hit all the keys and move back and forth a bit here? I'm not really sure. Well, bon Bon is not looking into the bed, so that's good. Maybe he's jumping on the bed. Is that what's happening? Now he's up over there doing so Oh, he is on the bed. I'm gonna turn around the other way just to see his big dumb face. There he is. But why does he want to eat me? That's what I want to know. Like, I gave him cake. Night, kiddo. Happy birthday. Good night, love. Oh no, there he is. Haunting my dreams. And there, there you go, I guess that's Bon Bon. We finished the story. Interesting little game. And there's actually a few other achievements that you can get throughout it, too. This is gonna sort of reveal where Bon Bon comes from. <laughs> Yeah, definitely an interesting little game. Not really sure what I got out of it as far as story goes. Munbun, a lazy old... There you go. Missed it, but... <laughs> Made with Unreal Engine 4. Well, here's Bon Bon just eating through the credits. But yeah, I'm not, not really sure what to take from that. Like, it was... It definitely had, like, a few creepy moments, a few jump scares, that kind of stuff. Um... I like the idea that the child is having nightmares and stuff like that because his parents are fighting or whatever's going on. I don't know that it was like completely clear that the parents weren't always there. Um, I thought that the, the story with the cigarette smoke and the mom smoking and stuff like that was pretty apparent because you saw the big ashtray out by the fireplace earlier. Um, so I thought that that was pretty cool. But yeah, I guess that's Bon Bon right there. Uh, it's an interesting little game. Um, like I said, definitely got me a couple of times. Seems like one of those games you might have to play a couple times just to completely get what it's going for or whatever, but there are definitely some legit creepy parts in there, so... There you go, everybody. That is Bon Bon. And uh, that's it for the stream today as well, so I guess I'll see you all next time on the stream. Thanks for watching.